Dear Singaporeans, dear voters of Marine Parade GRC, dear supporters, good evening to all of you. Thank you for coming by the thousands, by the tens of thousands to show us your encouragement. Four and a half years ago, I started on a journey with the Workers' Party. Voters of Juchet SMC gave me a very strong support. Even though I was then a very new politician, I'm very grateful today for this support. I was greatly encouraged by your support. It motivated me to work hard. I became a non-constituency member of parliament. I've raised many, many issues in parliament in the four years of term in areas such as business, environment, early childhood, finance, and many more. My colleagues and I have raised this issue in Parliament in a manner that the Workers' Party believe very strongly in, which is to be rational, respectable, and responsible. On the ground, I made many visits back to the SMC, almost on a weekly basis. I've gotten to know many more residents. Now, ESM Go and Minister Tan Chuan Jin has said that the Workers' Party is like a rooster claiming credit that the sun rises each morning because it crows. Actually, they're all mistaken. The rooster does not crow to make the sun rise. It crows every morning because it is morning and it's time to wake up. The rooster is telling the people, hey, wake up. That's what the Workers' Party has been telling the PAP. That's what you, the citizens of Singapore, has been telling the PAP. You have been telling the PAP for so long and did not want to listen to you. You have told them that the transport system needed fixing, that letting it be run by private companies as a duopoly was a big mistake. They did not want to listen. You told them that the prices of new flats have gone crazily high beyond what young Singaporeans could afford. You told them that you cannot pack new prices, new flat prices to the resale market and that there are simply not enough flats to cope with all the people that they're bringing in. But they did not want to listen. Life was too good for them, at least for them. Why change the system? There may be a Swiss standard of living for some, but not for many. In the words of former PAP MP, Mr. Inderjit Singh, who has said in February 2013, and I quote, we can safely say, say that we have failed to achieve the goal set by the then Prime Minister, Go Chok Tong, of a Swiss standard of living for most Singaporeans. As said for the higher income Singaporeans, including foreigners who just recently decided to make Singapore their home, unquote. You, the brave voters of Singapore, gave them a big wake-up call in 2011 when for the first time a GRC, the Alginit GRC, was lost by the PAP. Hey, wake up! You have ignored us for too long, you told them. Wake up from your sleep and go and get the system fixed. Then they started to listen. In GE 2011, when it was announced that I had lost the elections for Juchet SMC narrowly, I gave a thank you speech on stage. It was a very difficult speech to make. I then wished Charles Chongwell and even asked the residents to support him in his work there as the elected MP. But I said, keep Juchet and I will be back. Four and a half years later, by the grand wisdom of a small committee of people, Juchet SMC is now no more. A wise elder statesman recently said, that oppositions are like normats, looking for territories to contest at every election. Well, sir, I am no normat. You did not keep Juchet SMC. But hey, never mind. I am still here. 
in the past four years, besides visits within the duty of FNC, sometimes I venture into the areas around the SMC, such as the original Juche, which they took out, to Chai Chi, to Kembangan, to Ubi, to Yunos. And guess what the people are saying to us? Some are confused as to which constituency they now are in. Some have been in the SMC before, some have been in the Alginate uh, GRC, some were in East Coast GRC, some are in GRCs that no longer exist. So some people describe themselves as normals. Shifting constituencies at general elections without ever moving from their own houses. So on 24th July, when the new electoral boundaries were out and Juche SMC was removed, I have to admit that I was initially quite lost, at least for the first few hours, about where I should be. Then I remember a valuable some valuable lessons I learned when I was young. That if somebody pushes you around, you should stand up to the bully. You should take the fight back to them. Otherwise, otherwise the bully will keep doing that to you over and over again. And more importantly, I believe that we are first and foremost Singaporeans who love our country. We all want a better future, not just for ourselves, but also for our future generations, regardless of which constituencies we are in. And I know, I know that we can form a very passionate and good team to serve Marine Parade residents. My team and I are here today, ready to serve Marine Parade residents. The EBRC report also made me reflect on why I had joined the Workers' Party in the first place. I had wanted to see a fairer democratic system where rules are clear and contests are fair, and Singaporeans can choose their leaders without fear of repercussions. I wanted to see stronger alternatives being developed because I think it's very dangerous to leave it to only one so-called A-team. I strongly believe that Singaporeans are talented. Yes, we are talented. We are more talented than the PAP thinks that we are. There is enough for more than one A-team. And we can all benefit from a contest of ideas. I did not have to look far for the passionate team members that I wanted. They were right along with us, right in our midst, serving alongside with many of the volunteers. Now I want to first introduce you to Mr. Terence Tan. Many, many will have known that he has fought the cases for AHPTC with NEA and with MND, pro bono meaning without charging us any fees. He also did pro bono work for capital offences cases and others requiring legal aid. And Terence is not just a lawyer, but he's also an entrepreneur who has started a popular bar and restaurant establishment early in his career. He has stints overseas, including being the managing director of a multinational hotel group with operations from Spain to Southeast Asia. Terence joined Workers' Party after 2011 and has been walking the ground with me for over two years. He's a local boy of Marine Parade GRC, a Peranakan who lives in the traditional part of Juche. He has served faithfully in our grassroots and the Meet People session. Today, Terence is your candidate for Marine Parade GRC. Next, we have heard Ting Ru, just 32 years old, but already a very successful corporate lawyer. She heads up the legal department in a public listed company. She volunteered as a helper in our Meet People session right after 2011, and she came on her own 
trying to find ways to contribute to Singapore. From there, she expanded her work into many areas of our activity, including helping in the parliamentary research work. You may find it hard to believe that a young, bright, successful lawyer, busy, could find time to keep volunteering week in, week out. But here you have Ms. He Ting Ru, your candidate for Marine Parade GRC. And Right in the heart. Okay. Right in the heart of the Malay heartlands of Singapore is your local boy, Mr. Firoz Khan. He was from the party since 2006, but his service was disrupted when he went to UK his family, where he started a successful chocolate factory. And then he came back to Singapore in 2010 and has been serving the Workers' Party since then. Firoz's heart is right in the right place. He took a pay cut from his banking career to be the principal of the Patapis Children's Home, where he learns firsthand the issues of those who have fallen through the cracks in the Malay Muslim community. He's also a hands-on guy who grew the Roy's chocolate business in Singapore and in the region before starting his own factory in Wales. Mr. Firoz Khan, a hands-on person, with great commitment, your candidate for Marine Parade GRC. Last, last but not least, <coughs> Mr. Ng Fu Eng Dylan. Fu Eng comes from a humble family background, as you have heard from him. Studied neighborhood schools, worked his way to his current uh, to university, and he has found success in his banking career, working for both local and foreign banks and he has built up the wealth management business for the bank from scratch. Fuing is, a passionate about, Fuing is passionate about serving in the community and is served in a volunteer in WP Grassroots. Mr. Ng Fuing, your candidate for Marine Parade GRC. Okay. This Fellow Singaporeans, this is a team that is part of the renewal story of the Workers' Party. A team that is not afraid of the difficult task of taking on the PAP in what it consider as one of its strongest ward. Because we want to give you a credible alternative. We know it's going to be difficult and challenging, but we have the strength and we believe in all your support to carry us through. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Team Marine Blue because, because Marine should be blue, not white. Come September 11, vote the Workers' Party. Empower your future. Thank you.